Hello, my name is Embry Dowling and I have a great story to bring forward to you all today. The story is about a man named Alonzo Oakley. He's a space smuggler. Keep in mind that this story is in about a thousand years from now in 3019. So Alonzo isn't just smuggling by himself. He has a team with him. His team consists of three other people. One of them is an alien named Kay. The other two are humans, one named Sonia and one named Juan. Now, right off the bat, we know that this is going to have a lot of potential because one, it's transmedia, and also it has uh, everything you need for it to be a serial story. First off, let's take a look at how this story is going to be transmedia. When the pilot is launched, there will be a website that is also launched. The website will host discussion boards for fans to interact, discuss theories, talk about characters they hate, characters they love. Merchandise will also be available on the online store. And also we're going for kind of a cult classic feel with this, kind of similar to Firefly mixed with Cowboy Bebop. And it might not be a huge blockbuster, but the fan base that we have will be very devoted. So the game part of the transmedia, I'm looking at a text-based RPG. And in my opinion, this is great because there's so much depth to the story and also so much unknown until the show gets more developed. Then there's a lot of opportunity with the text-based RPG. It leaves stuff to the imagination and you can also develop it quicker and most of all, cheaper for the company as well. So I know you all have read the script, and I know you think it's an interesting first episode, but where's this going to go? And when this first episode gets released, how are we gonna keep this story going? And if it's successful, how are we gonna keep it going and going and keep the fans interested? Well, there's a lot of serial elements in this story development. First off, there's the relationship between Alonzo and his partner, in crime, Sonia. And so we know there's some sort of back history on Earth with Sonia, Juan, and Alonzo. And so that's one element in and of itself that we can have several episodes developing. Second is that relationship between Alonzo and Sonia. His eyes kind of linger on her at one part in the uh, pilot, and also they bicker, kind of like an old married couple. And so we can go throughout each episode, kind of develop that relationship a little bit more, Maybe there's a past relationship that they've had that's fallen apart as they became smugglers. Um, maybe they're just childhood friends growing up in the same neighborhood. And as they grow older, that relationship is turning into something more intimate. So there's great possibility between those two and also the three humans and their backstory on Earth. If you look at Kay and the Juggernaut race as a whole, and also how we set up the possibility for all these other alien races, we don't specify what other alien races are out there, We'll kind of just meet them as they are brought into the story. So we have juggernauts and we have a lot of other races uh, that are being developed. And this has a lot of world building characteristics in it. And it meets one of the requirements for having a cult classic. You want fans to be able to, you want to have enough depth where fans can dive into it and dig deeper and find out more on their own. And this can also be part of the website as well, if we post more information on the different races and on the different characters. And so Kay in and of itself, being a part of the group, we don't know where he's really from, wherever the Juggernauts come from. We don't know who the Juggernauts are. Uh, we don't know their culture, their religion, their beliefs, anything like that. So all of that can be developed in episodes or uh different types of shows that kind of spear off from this one. Big element of a serial story that we have in here is the main story arc. And so after Alonzo and his group makes it through the net, it looks like they're safe, their ship gets hit, he wakes up and they're surrounded by enemy forces. And he goes and meets with the leader and he finds out that the military of the humans has just totally collapsed. And there's all these different factions that are now vying for power and kind of going for their own gains and doing whatever they want. And so they end up having to work for this one in season one. And they, at the end of season one, hopefully they kind of found out a way to destroy this faction or at least destroy its plans of expanding and kind of uh, bringing other alien aliens into their territory and implying that they get killed. 
Um, they find out how to, how to defeat them, how to make their plans go away, how to get their money back, most importantly, their smugglers. Um, and then there's all these other military factions that we can use in the coming seasons of the show. Because they, we haven't really mentioned what the other factions want, what their goals are, what they hope to gain. And so after the, they get destroyed, then another faction can maybe rise up uh, and they can be the main antagonist in the next season. 